You're watching CNN Newsroom. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natalie Allen. Well, within the next few hours, the 15-year-old Palestinian American allegedly beaten by Israeli police will appear in court and is expected to learn what he is charged with. Tariq Kader was pummeled while being arrested during protests in East Jerusalem. News of the beating sparked violent demonstrations across several predominantly Arab towns inside Israel. And demonstrators in Washington gathered outside the White House calling for the U.S. to take action against Israel. The U.S. State Department is demanding an investigation into the beating. Representatives from the U.S. consulate and the teenager's mother met with the victim while he was being treated in hospital. Senior international correspondent Ben Wiedemann sat down with his parents. Images captured on a cell phone show two masked men in uniform beating a prone figure, then kicking him repeatedly in the head. <laughs> the prone figure is Tarek Abu Khder, a 15-year-old American citizen from Tampa, Florida, on summer vacation with his family in Jerusalem. His cousin is Mohammed Abu Khder, whose charred body was found Tuesday morning in a forest west of Jerusalem, and whose death sparked violent clashes between Israeli police and Palestinian protesters. Tariq was among the protesters, not in the clashes his parents insist. I asked my son, did you throw rocks? He said no. He didn't have to throw rocks. He's just Palestinian in front of his neighborhood, hanging out with his relatives, and after, you know, there's protests and stuff because of the murder. And because of this murder, of course, everybody's angry. The family lawyer took these photos of Tariq after he was arrested. His mother could barely recognize him. It's attempted murder to me. Tariq is a typical teenager. He takes lots of selfies. And among his friends, his nickname is Fish after his favorite hobby. There's still dried blood on the ground where Thursday evening, two Israeli police apparently brutally beat and kicked 15-year-old Tariq Abu Khder while his hands were tied behind his back. As of the time of this report, he's still in police custody, being held for questioning. Palestinians have long complained of a pattern of rough treatment by the Israeli police and double standards when it comes to justice, says Bill Van Esveld of Human Rights Watch. Well, the concern is that we've got plenty of evidence that this child of 15 was brutally beaten by Israeli law enforcement. And instead of the law enforcement officials responsible for the beating being questioned and detained, the child who's the victim is being questioned and detained. Israel's justice ministry is launching an investigation into the incident. A government spokesman acknowledges what appears to have happened to Tariq was illegal. Obviously, it is forbidden under Israeli law to beat up a, a, a suspect who's been handcuffed or something like that. That should not happen. But it appears that it did happen. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Jerusalem.